Game of Thrones time. The blockbuster series returns to TV this weekend, and it's already been six seasons with jaw-filling, jaw-dropping death, dragons, and those scary White Walkers. Winter has finally arrived, and Jesse Palmer, well, he had a chance to sit down with the cast. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. All right, so I have to say, uh, Around a year ago, this time last year, I sat in a room with some of you and you told me to my face that Jon Snow was dead. He wasn't coming back. I may or may not have believed you. I told all my friends. Are there any big lies you want to just get out of the way right now you can like tell me so. that I can run with? <laughs> no, it's not a lie. Technically, technically, he dead. was technically dead. Something happens and you're straight back to square one. He's still got a rule. He's still got his annoying sister to deal with. <laughs> And for Jamie Lannister, the last time we see him, he's now back home, mm. all three children now dead. There's this amazing look on your face at the very, very end where it's not a look of admiration or love for your sister. That's it the beauty is, of, yeah. uh, of being so blank-faced and then people can just read into it. But that's the whole point. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you what he thinks because then I would give away what happens. <laughs> yeah. for, for your characters, for the most part now, you've all been on the other side of, of the world with Daenerys in some form or capacity, and now here you all are now on your way to Westeros. We're here to mess stuff up. It's <laughs> <laughs> the polite way of putting that. Everything feels like it's sort of coming to a bit of a crescendo. What can fans expect here from season seven? More oh, blood. Each scene is really vital, and the the story that's exchanged. This season is so much about the story. I think the major difference with this is the pace at which it moves. It becomes a completely different TV show from the one you, you've expected. Just a quick show of hands. How many of you, seriously, are still surprised your character's still alive? <laughs> that's everybody. <laughs> well, one of the things I've loved about the show, the fighting scenes and the battle scenes, are amazing. But talk to me about the choreography that goes in some of these battle scenes that we see, because it just looks incredible. It, it feels like mayhem when you're doing it, trying to do as much as you can in reality rather than just in a big green box. That makes that makes a huge difference. I think and I think audiences respond to that. People have watched the trailer. There's a lot of people talking about this online, but apparently there's a bigger battle scene in season seven. I've heard the biggest we've seen yet on Game of Thrones. I think there are a couple. Couple, yeah. <laughs> not just one. Well, I'm running that down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go around. I'm just gonna Sorry. start with you and go this way, and just really quickly, just blurt out who you think in the end will sit on the th on the Iron Throne. We'll start with you. Daenerys. Scary snowman. I'm gonna say Daenerys. Tyrion. Bran. I don't think anyone will sit on it. I think it'll be destroyed. For Good Morning America, Jesse Palmer, ABC News, Los Angeles. Well, Debbie, Jackie, and Lori, they made sure I had my concessions ready for the Game of Thrones season seven premiere, which is Sunday on HBO. Thank you, ladies. I'm going to eat these and watch the show.